it's 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 one o'clock here. Oh, yeah, I'm right away. So you could like come back every week at this time, really. Then, if it's one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I don't know why anybody has an issue with this. It's just, it's just, it's just an awesome time. Well, it's so good to have you on our call. As you can see, um, we've got so many faces here. Really, really excited to see you and just more information on your amazing program that we are absolutely over the moon to be in the text group with. We are loving it, absolutely loving it. It's been amazing with our life. So um, I just really want to hear from you, really, about about the program from the perspective and how it's going to help these guys to grow their businesses. Yeah, yeah. Look, we can we can talk about all of that stuff. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm getting feedback on my end. Is that you or is that me? Well, we've or just muted a couple of people, so hopefully that will be better now. Is that better? Yeah, I think it's better. Come on, guys. Mute your. You know how this works. You got to you got to mute everything. Mute your stuff, guys. Come on. Let's. Who's not muted? Oh, we've got screens of people. With Julie. Who else? Wait, that's. I think that's it. Right. You carry on. Is that better? Yeah, I think we're good now. I don't know. It's like, I never know if it's the voices in my head or if it's actually like something on the screen. So I don't need any extra, I mean, you guys know me. I don't need any extra help like being crazy. Um, yeah, so, hey, look. Hi, everybody. What's up, UK? Um, way across the pond, man. I cannot wait to get my butt over there. I'm working on it. I promise you I'm working on it. Uh, I'm hoping maybe in the fall. You know, I thought like, I mean, I put the I put the word into him like, hey, look, you know, October, it's the Super Saturday weekend, it's the anniversary of Beachbody coming to the UK, it's the Lift for All Access launch. I mean, come on, like that makes perfect sense, you know. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll see if I have to pay anybody off for that, but I could totally do it. So um, yeah, hey, super excited, and you know, um, you guys, the rights, you guys have been killing it. Thank you so much for doing it, Kevin. It's been awesome to watch and. Uh, I mean, you, you guys can share, you know, your experience in this, uh, you know, so much better than I can in terms of really, I, I'm going to, you know, obviously talk about what I, I, I hope that people are experiencing or going to experience and uh, the program itself, but you, you guys are like walking, talking proof of, uh, you know, how much you hate me uh, in, in certain days after these workouts, you know, and that's, that's awesome. That's the idea, right? Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> all the curse words in your awesome accents it sounds so much cooler when you <laughs> uh, the american accent is, is pretty boring but uh so d you tell me babe like this is this is your call i'm here for you i want to make sure that you guys get everything you need uh about you know live for for me you guys can read the top sheet yourself so you know what is it so you tell me what, what you ask me the questions i'll answer them so we've got a couple of them let's look at careful first so i suppose like one of the key ones would be just like, again, your sort of thought process behind like why lift four and why like the format other than because it just works. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Right. So, you know, one, uh, yeah. Like some people have asked it like, is there supposed to be two eyes in lift four? Uh, yes, it was not a, uh, an autocorrect mistake. There is, it is legit. Like it went through legal. We're okay. It's lift four with two eyes and, and we'll, that's because lift and hit together. Yeah. Yeah. It was witty. Right. Um, but you know, it came, if we kind of go back a little bit and we talk about lift four, like how this program came about, um, you know, it, it comes down to, I, I kind of worked backwards a little bit on, on with this. And what I mean by that is I've been, yeah, I've been in the fitness and health and fitness industry, uh, for 15 plus years now, I started the front desk at a gym when I was 19 and, and have just been always doing something in health and fitness ever since. And, and, you know, there's always, what I've noticed was these trends of the exact same excuses, the exact same barriers, uh, all the reasons why people, uh, can't or don't stick with a health and fitness program, um, or, or can't maintain consistency and sustainability when it comes to working out and and eating right or eating better than they're doing right now and there was always these things and so there was always the excuses of time and money and family and, and all these different barriers and so um what i was thinking about when i started really we talked we were talking seriously about creating a program like this uh, with carl and everybody i was like look i think you know one of the things we need to do is just really stay simple and go back to basics. I think the timing uh, of this is perfect in terms of, of how basic and simplistic this program really is. There's a lot obviously that went into it 
to get it to this point, but uh, from the, the the program standpoint, it's actually very, very simple. We'll talk more about that in a second. But And, and with that is really a creating the success in simplicity. Um, and that's that's kind of what Live For is. And so the whole thing has come to fruition now because, you know, we really think about this. People want to lose weight. They want to feel better about themselves. They want to be pretty fit. But so they basically want abs and they want to eat their cake too. We know this. This is reality. And, and look, I'm right there. I want to drink my scotch and have my cheeseburgers, but I also want to see some abs. So, you know, there's, there's a delicate balance here, right? Um, and it, I always just try to ask myself, is this realistic? And, and, I, and for, uh, for as long as I can remember and everything that we've done, we've done a great job. And I say we as in Beachbody and, and the fitness world, we've created amazing programs, um, but they're not always sustainable. And I think the proof is, is in the fact that we're still not hitting you know, the vast majority of the population, doesn't matter if you're the United States or Canada or UK, anywhere in the world, we're still missing, you know, 80% of the population. They're still not working out uh, consistently. So I went, I tackled this from that standpoint. And that's really where uh, I was constantly looking at when I was writing these workouts, these, these, this types of, uh, these types of workouts I do personally, this is how I work out, it's how my wife works out, it's how I used to train clients um, and how I've just done over the years and just wanted to make this very real, uh, very simple and sustainable to where, okay, yes, it's an eight week program, but we want to make this to where uh, people can continue doing this no matter what else happens in their life. Because as we all know, like what happens on a Monday is not going to happen the exact same way on a Tuesday. Your life changes every single day. Your schedule changes, especially if you have kids and, and families and everything. So you have to have some sort of flexibility in your workout program. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a little too much. And you feel like, and then if you miss a day, then you feel like you failed and you say, oh, I got to catch up and I got to do two workouts a day. That sounds horrible to me. I don't want to do two workouts in a day. Like I want to do one. And then uh, Kevin D, you guys, I, mean, I want to go to the bar and I want to have a beer. Um, like that's real. Like that's real life. And I think that's, that's what we've been missing. So with Lift4, uh, I feel that this is the answer to all of that and you know to where this is not an all or nothing it's not about deprivation of nutrition plan this is simply saying look we're going to uh we're going to work out 30 to 40 minutes for four days a week um that pace that you're doing though i've taken what you normally do in an hour to an hour and a half and squished it into 30 to 40 minutes so uh as the rights can attest to the pacing is ridiculous you never stop uh your longest break is 60 seconds the entire time and then you're done. You get in, you get out, you get it done. And if you miss them, if you miss the workout on Monday, fine. Do it on Tuesday and Wednesday and just keep going with your life. You don't have to freak out and you don't have to change anything. So, um, and then on top of all that, it's some, with three days off, four days on, three days off, you have the ability now, uh, I, I, yeah, I think for really the first time, to mold this program around everything else in your life versus the other way around where you say, well, I got to get my workout in and then I have to do this and this and this versus I'm going to do this and this and this and then get my workout. And if that, those little, this is our swim, bike, run, uh, you know, paddleboard, tough mudder, marathon training. I don't care what it is. You can still do all that. So you don't have to give up anything. Um, when you're doing this program and you know so the rest day simply mean it doesn't mean you're sitting on your butt it means that you're simply not doing this program uh and and weightlifting basically you want to take a break from weightlifting and that's actually going to help you in the long run for results too so um you know this is something that's just very simple uh, it's going to be a, a, a mental shift for a lot of you because you know we you all of us, we've been inundated for so long of saying you got to work out six days a week you got to work out six days a week um I don't work out six days a week. So this is, this is a whole different mental shift. And uh, again, uh, Dee and Kevin can you know, uh, attest to this, like even the, in the test group right now, you know, the week one or leading up to week one, everyone was just like, oh my God, what do I do? I don't know what to do. It's only four days. What do I do on my off days? Which I was just saying, chill the F out. It's going to be okay. Like, I promise you. And then after the first two days, they were all like, oh, okay. I get it now. I can't lift my arms. Okay, now we get it. So, you know, you just got to, it's going to be about relaxing. But again, it just, we're going to have a good time. It's just very, very real and, and very, very simplistic. Cool. Yeah. One of the, like, uh, it's funny that you were sort of saying about the taking the workout and like squashing it in. That's one of the things I found out like massively. Oh, mm -hmm. I went into like a, like a gym, like the past couple of weekends, I was in two gyms and I did like two of the workouts in the gym. Yeah. And like literally I'd finished the weight section 
like, and the guy next to me had done three sets and I'd done like my whole workout and was like basically leaving and like there's sweat pouring off me. He's just sort of sitting there check, texting his phone. And I, yeah. Think, yeah. So I must admit the, the, the bit that I struggle with, Joel, is I used to be able to do a little bit of, you know, like Instagram stories and stuff in between. It's over before I even get a chance. I can't even, and he's like, oh my God. And I'm like, Joel, for God's sake. I'm like, it's just, it's yeah. so quick. You just have yeah. to get the workout done. Yeah, look, you have no time to check your Instagram feed uh, or, or do a selfie while you're working out, to which I've always, like, that's always been, and look, I know, um, uh, I, I know how, you know, I know what your job is as a beach body coach. I know how it's supposed to be, and you got, you want to show clips of you working out and stuff like that, to which, uh, but, like, I've never, like, I don't do clips of me in the middle of my workout. I get my workout done, and then I go back and do clips and, like, do excerpts. Like, nobody knows the difference. Like, come on. Like, yeah, like so it's like, you know, give yourself this 30 to 40 minute window for you, not anybody else, just for you do that and then go back and do this, do the crap for your business. Like that's like, like separate those, but give yourself a little break and, and, you know, like, you know, just do that instead of like setting the phone down and making sure it's all perfect. And then, you know, we see your crotch basically as you're walking away because nobody cuts and edits that part out. Um, it's a little awkward sometimes. So, you know, like, Let's think about this a little bit more. <laughs> the problem is, like, after that, you can't actually hold the arm up to no. do the selfie. Like, so, yeah, that's, yeah, you might have to get a tripod. Yeah, you have to get a, a spotter to hold your phone. Yeah, good problem <laughs> to have, though, I'd say. It's the only problem we have with it. It took three, it took three of us to do a selfie the other day. <laughs> One arm and two of us to spot the arm. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's funny. One of the things I was going to talk about is, like, like, the way you sort of coach and teach in this, I think it's very different to like a lot of the other programs. Uh, like I love it. I think it's like because you're you're like there constantly. You've got like that like perfect balance between like the banter and the here's the technical stuff. So like, do you want to talk a little bit about just how you coach and how you sort of teach on the workouts? Yeah, man. And that's, and, and I'm glad you said that. I'm so glad that that, that, that feedback has been coming out of the groups because that's, that was really important to me. So, uh, and, and what, you know, what that really means is uh, with, with digital, with, in the digital world, we are given so many new opportunities to create something that's so different versus what we've had in the past, you know, even with, with quarter force, you know, and, and that was relatively a short time, only a couple of years ago, which is crazy to think about. But um, with quarter force, we were still tied to, uh, we were limited to disc space so we, you know, we had to make the workouts, uh, you know, we only could do so many workouts for so long because I had to fit on so many discs for, to keep the price point low. So, you know, that's the stuff that we had to think about back then. Um, I say back then, it was, again, it was only a couple years ago. But um, now with digital, it just, the sky was the limit. So in terms of the workouts themselves, I was able to write, you know, four days a week, eight weeks. So I was able to write 32 original workouts uh, that change every single day. Um, you know, it's not doing the same workouts filmed differently. It's actually... 32 unique workouts. The moves will obviously stay similar, but everything changes. The sequencing, the structure changes throughout this. So it keeps it new and fresh and new bad jokes as well. And then really what Kevin's talking about is I wanted this to be, um, I didn't want this to be a workout video or, or workout videos. I wanted this to feel like a personal training session because that's really where the value is in, in when you're doing these types of exercises or just working out period. Like that's one thing of like, you're like, Hey, rah, 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 this is great. You know, this go team go. But that's like a workout video and you almost feel like you're just watching it half the time and you're not really able to fully feel like you're a part of it. Um, so with Lift 4, we really changed the way that it was filmed. Uh, we changed the way that uh, it, in terms of it was shot. There was a, you know, we had like, there was no static camera. Usually there's a couple static cameras when we film these workouts. Uh, and like the, you know, the, the person, the main person, like the trainer is usually like front and center. If you think of quarter force, Jericho and I were always front and center. We'd walk around. We always had to come back to our hero spots as they call them. This program, I don't have a spot. Like I am moving the entire time and uh, just coaching the entire time. So, uh, you know, it really comes down to the fact that with Lift 4, it's a personal training program. And I think, I think that's huge. And I think that you, anybody is doing it that will do this program. will get so much more out of it because the focus is going to be on yourself, not what you're watching. No, totally. Like one of the things that I find as well is it's like, I could almost put like, I've got my, my wireless earphones in. I could put my phone in my pocket. I didn't need to watch it because like you're coaching so spot on that like, I don't, I don't need to sit and watch someone like just your cue. And it's like, it's funny. Like, 
you, you'd be getting halfway through a set and like that point where you're starting to just die and like you know your form's starting to go and it, like I almost caught myself like like looking around and be like mm-hmm. crap is Joel there like, watching? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. and we yeah. can look at each other and go uh oh we did it right <laughs> so it's yeah. well I mean remember like this is this I, I I've trained people for so long. Like I, I know like what, it, and I do these workouts myself. So one, I know where you're going to be and I know how you're going to feel at a certain point. Um, and, and yeah, it's like, there's a thing called, uh, you know, the thing that we have always practiced uh, leading up to anything that we've ever done and, and really wanted to make this even more so, which we call blind queuing to where it's, is, you know, I, when I'm looking through all the things and, and going over all the things I want to say in my head, I ask myself that question, like, can, could someone who's just listening, get this down? Because again, we want to make this accessible for everybody. So, ideally if you can make this accessible for someone who can't see that's even better so um you know and that's you know and there's so many different people of uh you know that learn differently from visual uh to to auditory so like all these different learning styles will help too um so yeah we just wanted to tackle i want to tackle it from every angle well hashtag nailed it um (laughs) thank you (laughs) it's it's, it's probably another one i was going to sort of talk about is like again you sort of mentioned about that more relaxed sort of take on the nutrition and uh like again it's like like you can have already mentioned about the group how people were like what what i I don't work out every single day of the week and like i don't have to live off rabbit food and like cardboard it's like could you want to have a little bit of chat around kind of just that whole it's more holistic and it's a bit more real i think and it's manageable yeah the nutrition platform uh the nutrition program on this again it's very very simple um uh, I, I, I hate kale. I think it's gross. I think it's a weed. Um, <laughs> like I wanted to, you know, like, let's make this realistic. So um, we, when it came to the nutrition plan, look, here's the deal about nutrition. We have, and I say we as in the beach body world, and the fitness world, we, we have, look, it's beaten up. We know, you guys know, like everyone knows what you should and shouldn't eat at this point. Like we all know the crap we shouldn't eat. Um, and we know that, if you really truly want like shredded abs and a shredded body, you got to give that stuff up. You can't eat that stuff. Like we know this, it's not a mystery, but again, I'm going from the stamp. Let's go. Re- I'm talking realism standpoint it is not realistic for me to never eat a cheeseburger again or enjoy one of my scotches. Like it's just not realistic. It'll never happen. So I'm going from that realism standpoint and simply saying, look, let's just create something that uh, will really get you uh, some amazing results and create consistency in your results because then that way you start not freaking out so much about this whole cheat day thing. And we'll talk, you know, we'll touch on the cheat day too. So the nutrition aspect of lift four is this, you figure out your calories based on your weight. It's a simple calculation. It walks you through that in the program guide, uh, nutrition program guide. Once you get your calories, then all we need to do is just make sure your macros are leveled out 30% protein, 40% carbs, 30% fats. That's it. Literally, that's it, guys. Like, there's nothing else behind it. There's no time nutrition. Uh, there, there's nothing else. Time, like, I got my own opinion about time nutrition because I eat when I'm hungry. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit different. But we're, you know, and like, look, everything else that we're going for, like, think of everything else. Like, that's for specific results. We are going for feeling better and looking good naked and and looking good in your clothes. Like, these are the things that are important to people, I'm pretty sure, right? So that's what we're going off of, and that's what this program does. And um, you know, we're building muscle, so you gotta make sure your protein is in line, at least 30% of, of your total intake, because uh, protein is the building block of muscle. And um, what we've been seeing in the groups, and I knew this was gonna happen, and I'm guaranteed like 95% of you will do the same thing. You're gonna start yourself in the super lowest calorie bracket because you think you're, that's what you need, and you're gonna start bumping yourself up within the first couple of days because you realize that you have to eat. <laughs> you have to eat food, and it's fine. Like, eat all the food you want. It's just the type of food and really get in, um, get in the calories that you need, the right type of calories. That's it. Look, simple, 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 simple. Calories in, calories out. It's the type of calories that you're eating. That really is, and, and you know, like it almost sounds like an oversimplification, but you guys, that's really all it is. Um, when we start getting into the craziness and all these like minute details of it for, for people who are just trying to feel better and look better, it, it's not necessary. So again, I wanted to take it very simple. Um, I know there's been a lot of questions about, you know, with to be mindset out right now, people are asking, can they do the, do both? Um, the answer to that is, you know, I love to be mindset. I think it's everything I've seen so far is I love it because it's simple. Uh, and, and the, the, um, 
what you guys are learning from it is amazing. <clears throat> the, uh, what I will say though is you need to start with the lift four calorie plan and macros first, and then you can use, you know, some of the principles that you're learning with to be mindset to make sure, uh, it, it, you know, to make sure that you're, you're still in line, but got to make sure your calories and your macros are in line with that. Uh, macros are very, very easy to track. There's so many apps out there. We, uh, my wife and I use the Lose It app. There's my fitness pal. Like there's all kinds of apps out there that will just, you can scan your food nowadays and it'll put your macros and calories in for you. Like it's so simple now to do that. Um, so it's just very, very, again, very easy. You get the cheat day. Um, and look, the cheat day is just like the rest day. It doesn't mean you need it. It doesn't mean you have to. Uh, it doesn't mean you go out and order an entire pizza and eat the whole thing. That'd be cool. But it, it doesn't mean you have to. It just simply means it, it's giving you the freedom to not freak out. And if you want to do it on a Sunday, fine. If you're going out on a Wednesday night with your friends and you want to have your dinner, then, then let that be your cheat. Like it doesn't have to be on a certain day. Just like the workouts themselves, the calendar says Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. That's just a generic calendar. If you can't do that, if you need to do a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, fine. <laughs> like just relax, everybody. It's going to be cool. It's going to be easy. It's one of the first things that you'd said when you came into the group, uh, the test group to start was like, just chill. And everybody, because everybody was asking these questions and can I do them back to back? And can I, can I change my rest day for a Thursday? And you were like, just chill. And I think everybody did just yeah. relax a bit after that. No, I think it is. It's been massive. And it's like, I think, and it goes back to what you're saying, which is this, it's like for being realistic for what people can actually manage. It's like, you've got that flexibility. So if you're traveling, you can be like, right, I know that day's going to be out, so I can just change the workout. And it makes it so, so much easier to follow and you feel so much better, like your mind, because I know when I've done some of the other programs and I've sort of been like trying to be like regimented with it, you're like, oh no, I've missed a workout. And then you're like, oh, and it's an hour and a half. So how am I going to fit in? That's now three hours of workouts I've got to do in one day. It's just yeah. not just not going to happen so yeah look I, look I, I think I, I can sum this up yeah, for just and this, 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 is, this is this is my this is my philosophy this is my standpoint and, and you know so take it for as far as you want to throw it but it simply comes down to the fact that I, I truly even though this is my lifestyle I don't feel that fitness should run my life I really don't I feel that fitness should enhance my life and make everything else I do better um, I don't feel like that it should, everything should have to revolve around my workouts and, um, and when, when do I eat and, and measuring out my food. That's just not, I just don't feel that's realistic. And so I wanted to create something that is realistic. And for the people, you know, for the doctors and nurses and mothers and fathers and all the people who, who are just busting their ass and working 60 to 80 hours a week and all this stuff, this is that program that you just simply, you get in, you get out and you get it done and it will make you stronger and happier in the long run. I truly believe that. Um, and you know, it's all the things that uh, we don't usually talk about uh, in terms of, you know, it's like, okay, you are working out for four days, 30 to 40 minutes or two and a half. So that's, you know, two to two and a half hours total a week. I, and like, when you put that in perspective, you're like, oh my God, like how is anything going to happen to that? Well, it's because it, it comes down to what you're doing and, and the best utilization of your time. So there's that. And then right after that, it's about what happens to your body when you're giving it a break. And there's so many, like there's so many people are actually overtraining. They don't realize it. And that's actually hurting your results because you have to give your body time to recover. You have to give your muscles time to repair. Um, and that's what we're doing to live for. And I think that's why we're seeing again, the test groups, the original test groups, the coach test group right now, like where people are getting, more results than they ever imagined right now. We're at week six and, and the results are phenomenal and people are eating more than they ever have. They're working out less than they ever have. And they're, but the thing is they're sleeping more <laughs> than they ever have. They're not stressed about their workouts or their food. It just comes down to the fact that it's just, you're, they're living their lives and they're feeling good and they're seeing results with it. Oh, perfect. Like, uh, and yeah, I think it's certainly for us as well. It's been, it's just streamlined. It's like you've sort of trimmed off all the fat and it's just the bits that work. Yeah. And the other one, we've had a few questions, just reading some of the questions yeah. there. One of them was around the supplementation, the sort of like creatine and the, the recovering things like that. So yeah. do you want to chat a little bit around like the, the creatine use and the recover stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So Beach by Performance Products, um, I was, I was really excited when I started working on this and, um, 
really got to have some great meetings with the Beach Beachbody performance team. Um, I went to um, the the offices, uh, the Beachbody performance offices. They're in a different part uh, in LA, and I never got, I never been there before. And I got to see the labs and how they work and all this stuff, and it's phenomenal. Um, but why I got so excited about it is because I have been again with with everything that in, in is my experience at the fitness industry. Like I. I've tried all the stuff. Like I've tried all the shit that you can buy at GNC. When I say shit, I mean the shit, like the stuff that is now banned by the FDA that, you know, like I thought my heart was going to explode. Um, so I've tried all this stuff over the years. And I, so I can honestly say, and I don't just say it because I'm, you know, I, is my, you know, I work for beach is like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't post about it if I didn't truly believe it. And the beach performance products, I feel seriously are the best out there. I've seen what they do. I've seen what goes into it. You know, the ingredient list is, you know, is so small compared to all the other crap that's out there. I think that's really telling. And I've seen amazing results, uh, consistent results on using this. And then, so I was really excited to ha bring them into this process of, of creating this program to make sure that we were on track and on schedule and it's, it's, it's phenomenal. So everybody, you know, who we did in the original test group, we put them on BBP uh, products. It was amazing. Um, in terms of it really will help, especially recover uh, after your workout and recharge what, uh, before you go to bed, because those two proteins right there, one recover has the uh, pomegranate extract in it to help uh, reduce muscle soreness. The recharge has the casein protein to help, uh, you know, help your muscles recover, which some of the most, re some, some of the best uh, time for your muscles to recover is when you sleep. So giving them more protein while you sleep is even better. So they're only going to enhance your results. And no, you know, people ask like, and I know, you know, UK, it's a little bit harder to get some of those. I'm not sure exactly which one you can and can't get off the top of my head, but I know you can get recover pretty sure. So you guys at least got to get that, um, you know, Shakeology every single day. Like, uh, Shakeology is what you're drinking every single day. That's the only constant of Live 4 that you do every single day, of course. Um, but the products are amazing. And creatine, creatine works, you guys. Look, you, you know, from the creatine standpoint, uh, and, you know, we can, and that kind of goes into the women lifting bulky, getting bulky standpoint as well. Look, Creatine is simply going to, uh, it's scientifically proven to help increase your strength. Yes. Does it, uh, does your water, does your muscles also retain a little bit of water and fluid? Yes. So that's where the, uh, sometimes the fluffy appearance can come from where you feel like your muscles aren't as lean as they are. But with creatine, you're also supposed to cycle off of it to give your body time to get rid of the excess uh, water. So what I've been telling people in the test group is like, or when you guys do this, if you want to do creatine, do the first six weeks on creatine, one scoop every in, in, in your recover, do it right after your workout, and then cycle off of it the last two weeks or take a few more weeks off of it, and you're fine. Like, don't even worry about it. Um, you know, then with the lifting standpoint, you know, there's still this notion, it's a worldwide notion too. It's not just the United States I've discovered. It's, it's a worldwide notion of this whole thing about uh, women getting bulky when it comes to lifting, um, you know, just because Diana's muscles are a little bit bigger than Kevin's, but my wife's are the same way. So us guys, that just means we have to step up our, our game pretty much. But when it comes to the bulky aspect of it, look, ladies, here's the deal. You, you have the testosterone of a five-year-old boy running through your veins. Okay. That's, that's what, that's as much testosterone as you have. So you're not going to get like manly muscles, uh, and you know, big Arnold Schwarzenegger muscles. It's not going to happen because it just, your body isn't going to do that. What your body will do though, in terms of muscular strength, uh, your, your, your strength will increase, your endurance will increase, uh, bone density increases, which is amazing for osteoporosis as you get older. Um, there's just like Google it. And look at all the benefits. And if anybody says that you're going to look manly or look bulky, then tell them to, to crack a book because it's, uh, it's, it's so incorrect. And um, you're doing yourself a disservice by not actually challenging yourself. So, you know, the 10-pound dumbbells, let's go up a little bit. Let's start working towards the big dumbbells. Um, you know, weight selection, starting with this program, uh, you know, week one, you're going to really figure out where, uh, you know, where you, what your body says you need to start. But I guarantee you with this, we're going classic conditioning, classic weightlifting conditioning, which means hypertrophy training, three sets of 10. We don't change the sets ever. Um, that allows you to really increase your strength and endurance throughout this program. So you're going to go up really quickly. Uh, and we've seen that in the test group where, where ladies started with like 10, 15 pounds on the, on the chest press. And now they're in the 30s range and going up. Uh, from there and, and it's amazing. So uh, I don't know if you guys have Amazon Prime over there, but that's free shipping. So get the heavy dumbbells and make your mailman deliver it to you. That's what I did. I had the select text deliver. It's like 90 pounds per dumbbell and they delivered it for free. He must have been pissed. Uh, <laughs> <that's> great. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh yeah, tip we mail, just tip your point. mailman, okay? Just tip your, just tip the mailman. <laughs> yeah, we're up to what, what, we're up to twenty four k dumbbells well, now. Twenty four k dumbbells for, for mm -hmm. some of the stuff, and I'm like, maybe I need heavier. Mm -hmm. I love it. I absolutely. I see love Nick's it. into that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I mean, like, look, it's 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 amazing, and there's a there's a certain point too that you that um, you know, Kevin, I think you guys are starting to discover about week six ish is where you get to the point where you're starting to really figure out where that optimal weight range is because you've increased your weight. Um, and it's not to say that you will always continue to increase your weight. I've, I've found where I, I stay pretty much at the same weight because the pacing won't allow you to go past a certain level without, you know, so we're, we really, we find this middle range where you get the most results, you get the biggest, uh, you get the best strength uh, increases in endurance without injury. So, um, but you know, again, just very, very simple, wanting to keep it simple, dumbbells only, Right. I think that's 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 huge. Um, when um, I was designing this, I wanted to stay again, very, very simple. So in the meeting, you know, the original meetings we had, uh, I was asked, like, do you want a bench? Do you want a ball? Do you want? And I was like, no, I don't want any of this because we just want to go back to basics. Um, dumbbell. I love working with dumbbells because there's so many other benefits to it. You know, not just that one particular muscle, but you're getting you're working on grip strength. You're working on balance, coordination, con uh, conditioning. Uh, you're working on so many other things, stabilizer muscles uh, while you're using dumbbells. So there's a lot of benefits to it. Uh, so that's why it's dumbbells only, no barbells, no nothing else like that. That also would really help you uh, as you're trying to go heavier to stay away from compression exercises like backloaded squats and things like that, which we're, there, there are none of those either. So I really wanted to make sure that we were cognizant of back uh, and knee issues and, and all that good stuff. So of course there's a modifier anytime we, our feet leave the ground, there's a band of fire, which is a new thing where uh, there'll be a split screen option on Beachbody On Demand. So if you don't have dumbbells, you can use a resistance band with the, hand, the, with the handles and you can use those too. So if you travel, if you don't have the dumbbells, you can use those. So again, like just, like I'm, I'm daring anybody to find a reason why they can't do this program because I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't wanna say we thought of everything, but I'm pretty sure we figured a lot of it out at this point. Oh yeah, absolutely have, um, and that's that was the question we we're going to ask about the the band of fire. I'm loving loving the name of that anyway, but and um, that's going to be certainly something that's going to be added in. Well, we haven't seen it yet, but we've seen the sort of little sizzlers of the band of fire in it. So I think certainly that's going to be something that's going to be absolutely amazing for people who are, are like you say are travelling or whatever. And it's certainly through PNX that we've done. It's not something that's easier because you've got the eccentric and concentric movement. Oh, wow. so it's not easier all the time, but it's just easier yeah. to be able to, to travel and, and make sure that we're doing stuff with that as well. So yeah. constant, look, constant tension of, of resistance bands is, is hard <laughs> when you do this program. It's really challenging. Yeah. No, totally. I think it's, it's like a really good point. I think that's something for everybody to sort of kind of think about is it's like when you've got the pacing on the workout, it's like, honestly, there, there's some exercises that are, and like certainly when you come into certain parts of the workouts that are just, like it's kind of humbling. Like you get to like um, there's like I think there's like two like today obviously with like the shoulders one. Yeah. And swimmers. Like oh. I, like I honestly these like, swimmers. Oh yeah. Don't, so give all, hey, don't, give all the, don't give all the secrets away, guys. Let's give. <laughs> this, <laughs> okay. but, yeah. Look, like, there's there's gonna be times uh, you know where and I say in the program, but everyone's gonna see like there there is there is some humbling moments where you are doing an exercise with zero weight in your hand because your arm weight is plenty uh, at a certain point. So, and that's, and that's the whole point of the design of this program. That's one of the reasons why this program works so well. These workouts work so well because uh, we start with that. We always start with the lift portion because that's when you, because I need the, you know, it, there's much glycogen in, in your muscles right now. That's where we start. We exhaust and deplete the glycogen in your muscles. Then we go into the hit component uh, to really spike your metabolism and caloric burn. And it just, it works. So, uh, but because of that pacing, uh, it is going to be challenging, but you know, it's such an easy uh, it, it's such an easy structure and format to get all of these, all, all the workouts are, that's not going to take you any time at all. And, um, you know, the, the new workouts now that are coming out on the 11th, which we could talk about that in a second and all the new, the new updates, um, you know, that's going to help even more, uh, to get people ready for to the program. So it starts on the 16th, you guys are ready to roll.
Cool. Yeah, do you, do you want to talk a little bit more about that then, the stuff that's coming out on the 11th? Yeah, so updated timeline, man. There's so much happening, like right up, like I, I was like, oh crap, I got to jump on this call because I was like firing emails back and forth to the to the team at the office right now because there's just so many, so many things have happened so quickly, which is really exciting uh, for y'all um, because you get more stuff. Yay. So, uh, you know, the, the excitement has been awesome and people have really been, uh, have, have, have been looking forward to us. So what they decide to do um, is move up the free preview workout that was supposed to be on the 11th. So now Monday the 4th, so just a few days away from now, uh, Monday the 4th, the free preview workout is going to pop up, uh, is going to get loaded. Now that one uh, will be available I don't know how long, at least until October. So, and what's cool about that is that one is going to live. That one's free. You don't even have to be a Beachbody On Demand member for that one. So that's a great opportunity for you guys and your businesses to push that to people who are, are uh, possibly, um, you know, on the fence or thinking about this or whatever, you know, whatever it is, if they just want to see it, you know, push that to them on the, uh, the workout. So that starts on the fourth. And then that same day it comes out, I'm heading back to set. We haven't even filmed these yet. Uh, I just finalized the, like the workouts like two days ago. Uh, but we're filming four new workouts that we're calling Before Lift 4. Get it? Before Lift 4? No? Okay, nobody's paying attention anymore. Uh, those are, I know, witty, right? So those are going to get filmed, and those are going to come out on the 11th. So June 11th, which is when everything goes on sale, all the challenge packs, the digital unlock, everything like that, that, those four workouts come out. We're calling before before lift four because they are 20 minutes. They're about they're gonna be about 20 minutes, so they're a little bit express workouts. Uh, but I'm still gonna make sure it's full body. So you're gonna do we're gonna get a I'm gonna give you uh, give you a back and uh, chest and back workout, uh, a shoulders and arms, a legs, and then a uh, full body non equipment hit workout. So about 20 minutes each, and this is gonna give you a great idea, and your team's a great idea of the pacing of the workouts, uh, of how the full workouts are gonna happen. So those are gonna be loaded in. So anytime you buy a digital unlock or a challenge pack, that gets loaded into your bod and you can start doing those. And then uh, leading up to the 16th, July 16th, that's when everything is released. The first week comes out. Uh, there's gonna be the first week of workouts, the how to lift four, which is a, a fun little, uh, you know, about 10 minutes, I believe, uh, just weightlifting 101. So if anybody has never done, you know, I wanted to make sure this program was available for everybody, even if they've never weightlifted before. So the how to lift four, a lot of numbers in this. Um, I teach, you know, just how to work out, how to lift up a dumbbell, uh, how to lift dumbbells and how to do this correctly. And then also two stretching workouts that all gets loaded in on July 16th and we're ready to rock. And then also that's the same day that I, that we start the big Facebook group, um, that I'm going to be leading. So that's where you want to push yourself and all of your challengers, anybody who's interested into that group, because I'm going to be posting it every single day. Uh, and, and that's where you can go in, you can ask questions, you can comments, right. And, you know, just really go into it. And that I think is really where the VIP early access, uh, where the value comes in because from the 16th for the next eight weeks after that, you have basically eight weeks of guaranteed attention from me. Um, in one spot. So as opposed to trying to send me an Instagram or a Facebook message, which I'm on my phone enough as it is all day answering questions, uh, which I love, but now it's one spot where you're guaranteed to get answers from me and the Beachbody nutrition team or fitness team, whoever, you know, whatever questions it is. So then that way, when that's over starting October, then you can go after it. Like the idea is my, my goal is at the end of those eight weeks, you can talk about this program the way I'm talking about it right now. Like, you know, everything about this program, you know, how amazing it is how funny I am, how cool the program is. And like, you just want to share it with the world. That's, that's, that's the idea. Um, you don't have to think I'm funny, but, uh, the program is amazing. I promise it's, it's going to be great. So now the only caveat to a uh, uh, caveat, but just an update, this is what I was emailing about the early release workout or the, uh, excuse me, the, the free preview workout that comes out on the fourth and the four workouts that are coming out on the 11th because they just got added uh, and the tech teams are losing their minds right now at Beachbody. So uh, they're going to be available, but only on the web version of BOD. And what I mean by that is you won't be able to go into like your iPhone and get the workouts on the app yet, just yet. Um, it's basically by the time uh, that everything rolls around the 16th, everything is going to be good. But because we're pushing everything so hard, you basically to get the workouts or the free preview, you just have basically just use a browser. So like on your phone, you can still go to Safari or whatever your browser is and go to Beachbody on demand 
and log in that way and then you can use it uh, that way. So I know that kind of messes things up if you're using like the Roku uh, or Fire Stick, but you can stream it from your phone anyway. So basically computer, phone, or tablet is how you're gonna need to access those. I hope that makes sense to everybody, but uh, we're just, you know, the, the, the office, those, those guys are, their, their heads are spinning right now with everybody, uh, with all the stuff that's been thrown at them. But, you know, it's going to be good. It's all good stuff. Perfect. And it's funny, Megan kind of sneaked in there a little bit for me. So one, one last question. And this it's is the, it's the important it's, one. It's clearly the most important everybody one. Everybody needs to come a little bit closer yeah, to the screen. Yeah, everybody needs to lean in for this lean one. Lean in. It's, lean it's in, everyone. Like, so, so what does it feel like to be a bobblehead? <laughs> oh uh, I have no clue. I've only seen pictures of it. I haven't, like, I haven't actually held one, which is going to be weird. Like, I can't wait to do a post of, like, you know, doing this, holding it. Um, I don't know. I think, uh, well, one, I know Christmas presents are done, dude. Like, my, my Christmas shop is done. Like, everybody in my is family. Like a whole range? Like, like is there going to be, like, a whole range? So like the bobble head, then it'll be the cuddly toy, the mug. I don't know. I think, a, you know, what a Joel Freeman plush doll to sleep with. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Joel, that's been absolutely amazing. I know your time is so precious. Really creepy. <laughs> well, can I not say a, a talking Joel bobble head? I saw that. There's an app for that. So apparently there's an app that you can do, like, and you hold it on in front of the bobble head and it'll do... Yeah, that thing was creepy, man. So creepy. I tell you what, I'm going to do that exact same thing in my voice once I get one. It's going to yeah. be <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Listen, thank you so much, Joel. Um, if you'll come in and get a quick photo, let me see your okay. pictures. Come on, lean in. No, that was creepy. <laughs> Not from you, but you from these guys. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much. Like, I think uh, absolutely. So, you know, hey, look, it, it, this is going to be, I want, um, you know, look, Kevin and Diana, you guys have been doing this now for six weeks. I've known you guys for a long time, and you know that um, I, I, I think everybody knows that. I don't, I don't bullshit you. Um, I just I tell you how it is. This program is fun. It's real. It's authentic. Uh, and it's not just because I wrote it. It's because it, it just it speaks to – I think it's going to speak to a lot of people. Um, I just want everybody to try it. Give it a shot. Don't overthink it. Just – just go into it, not overthinking it. Just enjoy the ride, man, because, you know, fitness is supposed to be fun. It really is. Like, if it wasn't fun, I wouldn't do it. I'm going to be posting stuff uh, nonstop in, on my pages, Joel Freeman Fitness on Instagram and Facebook. So I, what I just said about, like, the update about the, the, the workouts, I'm going to post that later on today, too, so you can share that. Like, share it. Repost it. Like, you know, you, you take all the stuff. Everything is coaches. You guys have a lot of assets. It's all in your back office right now. All the videos. You know, I did a video on nutrition. I did a video on the, you know, talking about the myths of uh, weightlifting um, and the program itself. Like, so it's all there. So utilize that stuff to, uh, to really help build some more interest. I mean, I'm, I'm here for you guys because go like, I, here's this and then you take it out because you're the ones that are going to get it out there. Yeah. So yeah. by the way, thank you for getting it out there. Thank you so much for that. Well, well thank you as well. Thank yeah. you so much, Joel. And it's been absolutely. part of the group and things. It's been absolutely yeah. amazing. So we'll see you soon.